Once you've got some audio into your projects, you're going to need a way to manipulate the regions so you can create an arrangement and make edits to it. In Logic, this is mostly done using the pointer tools. Some of them have to do with moving and slicing up regions. Others help you navigate and change your view of the arrangement, while still more help you work with automation, which is a topic we're going to look at when we come to mixing. I'm not going to go through all of the tools right now, just a few of them. We'll encounter some of the others as we progress through these tutorials and I'll explain them as I go. You can change the active tool using this menu in the top right of the range area. The left hand tool is your default tool and the right hand tool shows the alternative tool which you can use at any time by holding down the command key. So as you can see at the moment my default tool is the pointer and my alternative is the marquee tool. However, using those menus is a relatively slow way to change the selected tool. Remember that you're likely to be switching tools hundreds of times in each project. So here's a quicker way that's worth practicing. If you hit escape, the list of tools will be brought up next to your pointer for quick access. To speed things up even more, you can hit a number or letter key once you've done that to select a tool. And if you practice this method, you'll quickly learn the numbers and letters. So for example, I can almost instantly switch to the scissors tool by hitting escape, then five. So let's have a look at a few of these tools. The pointer tool is used to select regions and move them around. To move a region, just click and drag. And as I move it, you'll notice that the region snaps easily to bar lines and other musical divisions. You can change the snapping behavior with this menu at the top right. Smart tries to anticipate where you'd like to snap your regions based on their original position and your current level of zoom in the arrangement. There's a bunch of other options too, some of which use musical divisions like bars and beats, or you can even snap all the way down to tiny divisions like ticks and samples. By holding Control, Alt, or Shift, which are known as the modifier keys, you can access some extended functions for the pointer tool. Holding down Alt and dragging will make a copy of the region for me. If I hold down Control while I'm dragging, the region will move without snapping to any musical divisions. This is useful if you want to fine tune a region's position without it snapping. Dragging with shift held down will keep the region lined up, either horizontally or vertically, depending on which way you drag. This is useful if you're moving a region to another track, but you don't want to lose the position in the timing of the track. The pencil tool is used to create empty MIDI regions. We're going to look at MIDI in the coming video chapters, but all you need to know for now is that MIDI data is contained in regions, just like audio data. If you want to start programming MIDI in from scratch, the first thing you'll need is an empty region, which is exactly what this tool provides. The eraser tool deletes regions, although the same thing can be accomplished by simply selecting with the pointer tool and hitting backspace. The scissors tool divides regions up into smaller pieces. This is good for cutting out unwanted parts of a region, or if you're going to be creating electronic music, for slicing pieces of audio, ready to be rearranged like a kind of sonic collage. If you hold down the Alt key, the region will be sliced into equal sized pieces, and each piece is the same length as the distance from the start of the region to the first cut. I often use this to cut up audio into slices, each a beat or a bar long, ready to be rearranged or otherwise edited. The final tool I'd like to show you is the zoom tool. Sometimes you want to see your arrangement from a zoomed out perspective so that you can arrange large blocks of your arrangement in one go. but sometimes you'll want to zoom right in to see the details of a waveform to make appropriate edits. The zoom tool lets you do this quickly and easily, although there are other ways of doing the same thing. 
With the zoom tool enabled, just click and drag to create a box. The arrangement view will then zoom so the portion inside the box fills the whole view. You can do this multiple times to zoom in further. Then simply click to zoom out back through the zoom levels you saw previously. You'll find yourself using the zoom tool a lot, so you might be interested to know that it has its own special shortcut. If you hold Ctrl and Alt at any time, the active tool will switch to the zoom tool. This way, for example, if you're doing some edits with the scissors tool, you can quickly switch to the zoom tool, zoom in, back to the scissors tool to do your edits, and back out again all without having to use the pointer tool menu. You can also adjust horizontal and vertical zooms using the edges of the scroll bars and the sliders at the bottom right of the arrange page. In general I find both those methods much slower than the handy Control alt zoom tool method. You can also hold Control alt and use the keyboard arrow tools to zoom horizontally and vertically. You should practice switching between and using the different pointer tools as much as possible. If you learn to use them efficiently, you can really speed up your workflow. And trust me, the faster you can access and use these basic functions, the more time you can spend being creative.